every make and model, every color in the crayon box. The cars are as inconsistent as an Oklahoma forecast. But these folks all have a common pastime. Gathering in rural locations, never seeing an interstate or a turnpike, and drive back roads of Oklahoma. Kind of get lost in Oklahoma, per se. Cruise in Oklahoma began as a small Facebook club of car enthusiasts and has grown to 5,000 members. On this day, the old Tanger Outlet Mall in Stroud is the staging area for a massive car rally. The 450 mark confirmed, and that's just the people on Facebook. They are proud of their babies and happy to talk about them. I can pull a transmission and change a clutch. <laughs> There's a ton of, ton of shiny. <laughs> Adds horsepower. Come on, y'all, and sing it with me. Does this attract the attention of the boys in blue? They want to take pictures with it. <laughs> it's too pretty to drive. The underneath is as clean as the top is. Nah, it's been drove about 200 miles, six years. Are you scared to get it out on the road? <laughs> oh, not really. I've got it insured for 30,000. So. <laughs> you have to drive them. It's hard to look at them and not drive them. This car looks familiar. Where have I seen this car before? It could be a movie car. <laughs> it's been in one movie. It's really famous, Smoking the Bandit, of course. And uh, happened to be lucky and purchased a car out of a museum in Indiana that was closing down. Only has AM, obviously. <laughs> That's the warm up because it actually has a tube amp, like you had back in the 60s or 70s playing guitar. Every time you press it, it seeps to the next one mechanically, which is pretty cool. The Wonder Bar. Yeah. I'm actually on a cruise in the 62 right now in Oklahoma. Colin Austin rolled up in a classic Corvette. <laughs> That's a sweet machine. What year is this ride, my man? 62. 1962. Yeah. He purchased this vet from the daughter of a man with Alzheimer's. He was in the uh, military. She said that her father painted it to match his squadron colors. But you can see in the door jam that it was red and then it was kind of this yellow color. He had this car for a long time, for sure. She told me that uh, she was gonna tell her father every day until he passed that you know, the Corvette was still looking pretty. A rare bond here where strangers become best friends. Just meet up and you know, kind of have a car show. Everybody looks at their cars. And, I love it. And future enthusiasts are born. We'll have to frame them all, a wall of car photos. They'll spend the afternoon cruising Oklahoma small towns. You know, they can sit on their porch, drink a hot cup of coffee, and watch all these cool cars go by. So it's all about, to me, about getting in rural Oklahoma and showing people what Oklahoma really has to offer. Great people, revved engines, and occasionally wrong turns. When you actually get lost in Oklahoma. Well, it's the journey, not the destination. <laughs> I'm Lance West. Getting lost in Oklahoma. Yeah.